The fourth strategy that you can consider is negatively gearing your investment property. What does this mean? Well, there are two aspects to this. The first is a cash flow physical aspect, and the second is an income tax aspect. The cash flow aspect is where expenses are greater than the income. So from a physical cash flow perspective, you are in the negative, and therefore your income from that property doesn't cover all the expenses, and you have to use money from your own pocket to cover cover the shortfall. The other aspect is where the income is greater than the expenses physically, but because you use a depreciation schedule that's allowable by tax law, you further increase the expenses by a non-cash amount and therefore end up in a loss position for income tax purposes. Again, you can imagine that that will reduce the tax that you need to pay, meaning you'll have more money in your pocket for family, for adventure, just to take a holiday or to do anything else that you like to do with that money.